Rukin Lake in India is 16,000 feet above sea level. It's a glacial lake and it is overflowing with skeletal remains. But the real amazing thing about Skeleton Lake is what killed the people that are there. So in 1942, this Indian forest ranger stumbles across uh, Rukin Lake and sees that it is full of, of skeletons. It's full of the remains of hundreds of people looking back up uh, through, the, through the frozen ice in this lake. It would have been a, a, an absolutely terrifying sight. So this forest ranger became concerned that these might be Japanese soldiers as part of some kind of World War II maneuver uh, and reported it to the British. But on a follow-up study in the 1950s, they found these skeletons were in fact much older than that. Even after this forest ranger discovered them, they don't know how they got there, and they don't know what killed these hundreds of people. Dozens of theories put out. Ancient soldiers, a caravan of merchants, a royal uh, wedding party, maybe they died of disease. They all uh, froze to death. This mystery goes unsolved for decades. There were some songs and stories that were told that lent some possible explanation to how these people came to be there and what killed them. In 2005, as part of a National Geographic expedition, they begin examining the skeletons. And they find some interesting things. One, it's a mixed group. There are women, there are children, there are older people. They think they may have been on their way to a festival celebrating Nanda Davi. All of these skeletons suffer from similar wounds, blows to the heads and shoulders with a blunt object. This area of India, because it's in the mountains, because it's in the Himalayas, 16,000 feet above sea level, it's over a glacial pass, uh, the weather is out of control there. The area is also known for extreme hailstorms. And that is what killed all of these people. The songs and folklore were about uh, the goddess Nanda Davi becoming angry at a traveling party in an act of rage, cast down stones as hard as iron, striking all of these people dead. And all of the scientific evidence, all of the forensic evidence backs this up. They were killed when a freak hailstorm started dropping hailstones that were as big as nine inches in diameter. That is what killed the people at Skeleton Lake. A Frickin' hailstorm! So well, it may have taken until 2005 to, to definitively prove with science that the people, the hundreds of people who had been killed uh, at Rukind were killed in a freak hailstorm. The stories, the songs of the area have been telling this tale for over 1,100 years. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. People steal the skeletons. They are slowly being taken. The region is trying to get the area uh, earmarked, designated as a protected region. Leave them, leave them in the lake, Skeleton Lake. It's what it's named after them. Leave them there.